Till now, our object starts with its program behavior when the program starts. It's also possible to program the object that it starts with its behavior when a certain event is happening. This is what we want to achieve now by finding the right pricks. Tap on scripts in the object view. Let's see what kind of bricks we find under the category event. Pick the when tapped brick and place it underneath or above the when program starts brick. Since the upper edge of the brick is round, it's not possible to stick it to another brick. When our object gets tapped, something should happen. The something we need to program again. Let's go to the sound category. Tap on the brick Start Sound. Stick this brick to the when tapped brick. If you take a close look, you will recognize that the new underneath Start Sound is underlined. This means that we can change the value. Tap on New and you will see different options. We can take a sound from our smartphone, record our own sound or pick a sound from the media library. We tap on the media library to see what sounds are already created. If you tap on the play symbol, you can listen to a sound. In order to download the sound, you need to tap on the title. For a panda object, it makes sense to pick an animal sound. Let's check if the program works. When we start the program, the panda changes its size and look, and every time we tap on it, it plays a sound. Not bad. You can see you can make your program interactive. Only when a certain event occurs, in this case when a panda is tapped, a certain behavior is started.